What's up everybody, my name is Bishop. Today I have a quick and easy lesson plan for you guys to try at home using a therapy ball. Uh, therapy balls are gonna be innovative in the PE setting because they can help with assisting in balance, uh, relaxing the student and preparing them for physical activity. And last but not least, muscle control. Um, therapy ball, other than the therapy ball itself, these activities will use household items so you could try them out at home. Um, we'll start off with a couple warm-up activities that allows the student to get acclimated to the therapy ball and the environment around them. And then after that, we'll get into a culminating activity uh, where we'll practice volley, uh, volleying, volley passing uh, back and forth with an assistant and with the student themselves. Um, before we start, important safety considerations to watch over are to always have a assistant Watch over the student by holding their knees and uh, controlling their knees, making sure they don't fall off the ball suddenly uh, to prevent injury. Other than that, yeah, we could get started with some warm ups and we could get into the lesson. So, over here is going to be the equipment that we need for the lesson plan. We have a therapy ball, a wooden spoon, we have a uh, pretty much a makeshift weight using a textbook and a tote bag. We have a soccer ball as well. Normally we would need a volleyball, but that was inaccessible at the moment. And we have a balloon, and those will be used during the culminating activities in the end. So we begin warm-ups by uh, letting the student get used to the therapy ball. Uh, here I'm asking her to uh, find ways to spin around on the ball without standing. Uh, and this will take place by trying her best to balance and she does this by tightening her core. I'm asking her to turn right and to turn left, and here she's doing a full 360. Yeah, and then we're gonna progress into a balancing activity warm-up. Um, here she's using her best ability to balance on her own, and what I'm doing as the assistant is I'm gonna be holding her knees to make sure she doesn't fall off the ball and to cause injury. Yeah, so pretty much she's right here, I'm asking her to tighten her core. I'm asking her to stick her arms out to find the balance on her own. If she's falling back, I'm gonna pull her knees toward me so she doesn't fall. And yeah, we're doing these five times for 30 seconds. Next up for the warm up, we're gonna do some therapy ball rolls. This is gonna be uh, something that allows her to get comfortable. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have her lay flat on her belly and we're going to roll the ball up and down. She's going to exhale by the time I get to her back. Take deep breaths when I go down. So next for the warm-ups, we have some therapy ball squeezes. Here we're going to do five times for five seconds each. What I'm, uh, the instructions for this is to keep your knees and your toes down. You're going to squeeze the ball as tight as you can for five seconds, and you're going to shake it out in between sets. Uh, the cues here are to absorb the ball and squeeze tight. It feels like I'm hugging Dad really tight. Okay. Good job. Check it out. Check it out. Shake it Next up, we get into some back stretches. Uh, the instructions here are going to keep the feet on the ground, and you're going to challenge the student to touch the mat with their hands. Now, depending on the student's abil ability level, uh, you could stretch for as long as uh, 10 to 15 seconds, whatever they are comfortable with. As the instructor, it's best to hold the knees to make sure that they're balanced and they don't fall off the ball. You could assist them with resetting to the top by pulling their knees toward you or pulling their hands, whatever the student's comfortable with. To complete our warm up, we have some light stability training using our homemade weights. We have a tote bag and a textbook. We're gonna fill it to whatever weight the participant is comfortable with lifting. Uh, we're gonna do some side raises and then uh, overhead raise, and we'll do some sit-ups as well using the weights. Um, the instructions are gonna be to balance by squeezing your core. 
you are to keep your feet on the ground at all times and try to keep your body as straight as possible while using only your arm muscles. Uh, yeah. And then when we progress into the sit-up portion of the activity, go ahead and hold their knees to make sure they uh, get up safely and don't fall over by accident. Our culminating activity is going to be a volleyball bump pass back and forth uh, with a partner. Um, yeah, we'll get into the cues right now, and then we'll check for understanding, and I'll go into further explanation. So, are you going to swing or are you going to bump? Bump. Are you going to keep your elbows out? Or are you going to keep your elbows together? Together. Together? Good job. Um, when we're sitting on the medicine ball, do we it's a yoga ball, do we keep our feet on the ground? Uh, yes. yes, we do. Um, do when we're sitting on the uh, therapy ball, are we squeezing our core the whole time? Yep. And when we're sitting on the therapy ball, are we going to stand up at any time? Up. So we'll get into trying it. Again, the cues for volleying are going to be uh, using the forearms and bumping instead of swinging. So we'll try it out. Go ahead. You'll begin the partner passing activity by giving the participants some light tosses that they could easily bump back to you. Eventually, you do want to progress to uh, throwing the ball slightly either to the right or to the left of them so they can move their feet to locate the ball and bump back to you and eventually progress into partner passing where it's consistent bump, consistent bump and passes back to each other. Since this was a soccer ball, it was a little heavier than a volleyball, and it was a little windy, uh, the activity didn't turn out too great, but we did adapt by providing another culminating activity that you could use indoors using the wooden spoon and the balloon, and we could show that afterwards. Similar to our activity before, uh, it's just going to be a passing activity. Um, she has the wooden spoon right here. She could start out by juggling with herself. Go ahead and sit right here. Make sure you're sitting on the ball at all times. Okay. Your instructions is to hit the balloon up as many times as you can while sitting on the therapy ball at all times. If you want to move, are you going to use your feet? Nope. Oh, yes. <laughs> are you going to stand up off the ball at any time? Nope. Are you going to try to balance the whole time? Yep. Okay, good job. So I'll throw it up to you and then try to juggle as many times as you can. Okay. And then we can progress to partner Jumping passing. Uh, partner Jumping. passing with uh, my own wooden spoon. Ready? Okay. Uh, your cues here. Hit up, kind of like the volleyball. Yeah. We're going to hit up and uh, tap lightly, okay? Squeeze the core. Okay. Ready? Yes. See how many times you can do the first time. Let's see if you can spell my Eva. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Ready? Say, say it out loud. Oh, oh, yeah. Spell it. Ready? Yes, ma'am. So I always spell my name. The whole name. M A E V A L A. <laughs> All right, and there you have it. That's our therapy ball lesson. Uh, pretty much starts out with some warm ups and some light stretches to progress into two culminating activities. The first one being volleyball passing, depending on your environment and the participants' experience with volleyball in general. Uh, since we couldn't do that at the moment, we did open up an easier option to do at home. Uh, it's going to be the balloon juggling. She starts out here by herself. And eventually you'll see me hop in the activity as well to progress into partner passing. Uh, yeah, we did provide the clues for these to be tapping lightly up. And when you're, uh, the instructions is to keep your feet on the ground, moving around on the therapy ball only by squeezing your core.
And that'll be the end of our lesson plan. Thanks for tuning in today. Hope, hope that it helps you in the future. And thanks for watching.